Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Lancer. Last time, we took out the CS Pukov in one of the most difficult and dangerous missions in Star Lancer, but we received the Alliance Medal of Honor for our work, so let's take a look at our, at our medals here and see how we're doing. Yeah, and there's our medals there, there's the Alliance Medal of Honor, so I didn't, I didn't quite get all of them, and I may go back and show you how to get some of the other ones, but that's okay. Okay, sometimes uh, the game froze up there. Sometimes it does that when I do the lockers thing, but no big deal. All right. Great flying, Ace. Nice work, Ace. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Apparently, we're going to jump right in after the next mission. They said great flying, so they must be that we're going to do this pretty quickly after. I don't think that's the case, but I don't know. It's weird dialogue, though. All right, we're going to go in and see our meeting. Or not see our meeting, rather, but that's okay. Get to see what we get to do. I get the Alliance Medal of Honor, but don't even get to watch myself go into the briefing room. Oh, well. The time has finally come for an assault on the Coalition's forward command station. Intelligence has discovered that the command station is equipped with an ion weapon, similar to the one we encountered a few months ago that destroyed the Victorious. This makes a frontal assault by the Yamato suicidal. We also believe that Admiral Kulov and Ivan Petrov, with the remnants of the Black Guard, are stationed on the base. We take them out, and the Coalition is going to feel it throughout the whole sector. This will be a two-pronged offensive. The Yamato will launch the Tigers and Gamma Wing, which will be joined by the pirates from the ANS Intrepid. Using warp projectors, both squadrons will get in close to the station and begin the attack. The Tiger's first objective is to take out the station's defense fighters, while the pirates provide cover. Once the base's fighter defenses are clear, Gamma Wing will move in and take out the station's power core and gravity drive, disabling the ion weapon. The Yamato and Intrepid will then move in and finish the job. I'll be coming along for this operation. The captain's not happy about it, but we're going to need every ship we've got out there. This could be the turning point of the war, people. The Alliance is counting on you. Prepare your ships. Wow, this seems pretty intense, and Com Commander Enriquez is coming with us. Well, in these high-power profile situations, there's only one ship that we can use, and that's the Shroud. And believe me, we are going to need it for this one, for the cloaking, and you'll see why here in a minute. Okay, uh, Solomons. Yes, we do want some Solomons. Uh... For what we for what we need to do, as well as a couple raptors. Yep, that all looks good. All right, here we go. Let's go, tigers. Let's go, indeed. Oh man, this is going to be intense already. I can feel it. You have a green light. Launch now. All right, here we go. It's a pretty cool looking ship, though, I must say. Okay, people, listen up. I don't have to stress to you the importance of this mission. We pull this off, and we can alter the course of this conflict. Everyone ready? Yes, Colonel. Let's do it, Tigers. Pirates, what about you? We're ready when you are. Okay, let's move out. Wow. We're ready to jump out. Man. We got all kinds of people with us. We have Enriquez, we have Steiner, we've got the pirates. Man, this is going to be an all-out war. What do we have here? Whoa! We got half the Alliance fleet here! Wow. Look at all those ships. Good to see you, Tigers. Good to see you. It's good to see you back in the cockpit, Commander Steiner. Wow, look at all those green dots. Is that a coalition sheriff? All part of the plan. The Tigers, Cougars, and Pirates jump in and cause a diversion. Meanwhile, two cloaked Hades hiding behind the sheriff will get in close and torpedo the Boradin. Wish us luck. Wow. We're all gonna need it. Let's go. Wow. More coordinates initiated. Ready and online. Let's go. Man, I even get my special little warp drive? Man! This is... Jeez! 
You know, Commander Riquez, you could have told us part of this plan. Back at the base. There. There it is. It's huge! Watch out, there's an ion cannon. Can't tell if it's operational, but keep on guard, everyone. Uh-oh. There's the sheriff. Incoming fighters! Engage at will! All right, let's go to work. Let's get our guns going. All right, now for this first part, you just want to use your guns. But have your Solomons ready. Uh, and you'll see why here in just a little bit. But I will tell you that these photon cannons can rip these lags to shreds. Watch this. Woohoo! Yeah. Match speed. Just be careful also. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Whoa! Hopefully that'll be enough. We got a missile on our tail, buddy. Move it. We're all right. Some of the torpedoes got through. Hell, the board is still intact. Crap. You will not escape us, pilot. This is locked on. Missile moving in. Pilot, we picked up two incoming corners and wings. Jump out and intercept them. I'm done rolling the corners. We're on it, pirates. Let's go. Tigers, get to work on those turrets. Okay. So as soon as that message happens, immediately go over and start taking out turrets. Uh, let your other fighters deal with, or let your other wingmen or whatever deal with the with the fighters, and that's completely fine. We need to go take out turrets. All right. So what we want to do is get in close, and then stop. Take out the turret. Go to the next one. That's going to be the plan. It's just afterburn around. Fortunately, this ship is really wide and has some openings in the middle, so you can easily get from one side of the ship to the other to take out the turrets. Alright. Basically, we just want to keep this up. Now, I should be getting a message here in just a little bit. Go. I'll let you and I'll, uh... Wow, I'm taking out a lot of these turrets before... Take out the turret. Time's not on our side here. I know it. I know it. I'm going as fast as I can, man. Just relax. Uh, there, there we go. Yup. Alright. And this thing does have a lot of turrets. The ion cannon is targeting us. Get out of range! Okay, whenever you get that message, immediately cloak and just go find the next turret. Once you find the turret, turret, Decloak. Take out the turret. The ion cloak us. again. Basically, as soon as you cloak, it will reset the ion cannon's target on you. So you have time to quickly take out a turret and then recloak. Yeah, and there's multiple times you can tell when an ion cannon's on you. Like, uh. For example, like the screen will go. The ion cannon is targeting us. Get out of the range. Uh. Like the screen will start to go white, and as soon as that happens, oh shit! Oh, crap! Whoops! Well, I didn't mean for that to happen. Okay, I'll try some of that again. Stealth mode deactivated. Alpha five. Stealth mode initiated. One of those torpedoes must have done some damage. Stealth mode I'm on it. deactivated. Let's see what we got. Come on. There's an opening Stealth next to the Borden's control center. If we lay some charges around this area, it should disable the ion cannon. Yamada Control, I'm relaying the coordinates. Okay, cool. We've got it. Rivers, pick up your charges and move in. There they go. As soon as those fighters jump in, Cover us. They're moving in. 
immediately go after them and start taking them out. You've got to protect those rippers. Stealth mode deactivated. Now, you need to be careful here in this situation because... Uh, because uh, the ion cannon is still operational. And if you ever see your screen start to flash... Uh, if you ever see your screen start to flash or you get the ion cannon warning signal, uh, immediately, immediately cloak. Damn! You gotta take out these rippers. You need to take out these fighters quick. Now use your guns for this. For this part. Again, just shoot whatever you can. So as soon as that happens, immediately cloak, decloak, and get back to work. Oh boy. Okay, now when this happens, what you want to do? What you want to do is find that big wing of fighters. And launch all of your Solomons. Oops. Uh, actually, that's fine. Just launch them all. And then immediately go back to your Raptors. And just start taking them out. See, there's that big wing of fighters there. Because you have to keep those Raptors alive. Cloak. Go. See, that part of it sucks, because you just... Crap. See how my... I'm trying. Of course we do. I know, I know. Stealth mode. God, you just have to move. You have so much going on. Okay. At least this. At least this. At least this. You can cloak multiple times in this. I'm like. Alright. Good. Fire! Fortunately, those basilisks can't float. Good. God, I hate that. Mode There's a lot of a lot of buttons you gotta push at one time. Come on. Yep. Alright. Come on. I might have, I might have taken a fuel pod, but Come on. Excellent. Exhausted. Oh, great. That's exactly what I need right now. Detonation charges won't activate. They must be blocked in your detonation signal. Ugh. Tigers, set them off with your lasers. Hit one and the rest will blow. It's our only chance. Okay. It's down to you. Godspeed. Okay. So now what we need to do is we... Exhausted. What we need to do is go and shoot down the fuel pod. Oh, boy. Okay. Of course. Jeez. And of course, you know, I gotta shoot, I gotta deal with these guys too, along with that ion cannon. So, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out some of these fighters. And, uh... Oh my god, where'd all these fighters come from? 
So what I'm gonna do is make my way over to the boarding. Great shot, buddy. And oh my god, where did all these guys come from? Actually, wait. Uh, do I need to shoot the charges? Okay, hold on. Just a second here, BCS Universe. It's got a lock on us. Shake them. Okay, there's the fuel pod. Um, I had to just push the A button to select primary target. So, blow up the fuel pod. Oh, I need to decloak. Sorry. I hope this is enough. Boom! Did it work? Yeah, they've taken out that damn ion cannon. Woohoo! Yes! This just got a lot easier. Wait a second. There's a section breaking away. They're making a run for it. Take out the warp projector. That thing's too well armored. We'll never take it out. Oh no. There is another way. Okay, what is it? Steiner, what what is that way? If you could share that information with us, that would be most helpful. Steiner? Steiner's heading straight for the warp projector. Steiner! Hello! Steiner, what are you doing? Whoa! He took out the armor plating. Oh no! Jumping in. Oh no. Okay. Hold on. Enriquez and Kruger 1 have gone into the warp gate. They know what they're doing. Now blast the warp core. Okay. So now we need to shoot out the power core. Go to the other side, find that. Shoot it down. You gotta be kind of quick about this, too. Okay, let's see if I can find it. Is that it? Yeah. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to figure this out here. There it is. Okay, cool. Shoot down the power core, then. I don't believe it. We were so close. Damn it. I will pass you, Eli. What happened? Let's for one more. Whoa! Danny, what? Get a lock on that comms. Escape pod bearing zero, zero point four. I'm on it. All right. Destroy that pod. What the? Oh, man. We got to protect Steiner. Okay. So now we need to go take out these basilisks quickly. Otherwise, they will shoot down Commander Steiner. And that would be bad. All right. So time to go to work. Quickly, quickly, take out these basilisks. Uh, you might provide some sport, Someone greet me off this dog. What the? Petrov! Man. Oh, it is Petrov! Man, I might actually get a chance here to end this. Get back here, Petrov. Oh. This is no easy. Come on, he's chewing us up! I'm trying, man. They keep cloaking. Get back here. Yeah, you're probably not going to have any missiles at this point. Because, uh... Because uh, you have to use them to take out all of the... Wow, these guys just keep cloaking. But yeah, just, so just be vigilant. And eventually they'll go down. I've got him. I'm heading back to the Amato. All right! Okay. Ready to jump out. All right, well, let's let's get out of here. Let's get home and let's just watch the Yamato do its thing. Did we do it? Did it work? Woohoo! 
Look at that thing go! Wow! And we've done it! The boarding is no more! Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time we landed. Catch up on some R&R. &R. Initiate landing procedure. That's awesome. Holy crap, holy cow. Oops. Oops, no. Uh, oh, let's try that again. But I, sorry, I'm just so excited. Permission to land. We've destroyed the Borodine and pretty much all of the. Bring her in, Ace. You clear to land. Pretty much all of the main officers on the ship there. Oh man, that's freaking awesome! Woohoo! We destroyed Petrov, and Steiner's still alive, and oh man, that's so great. Oh, that's so fantastic. Wow, that's just great. Very, very, very good. Whew. Now let's see how we did. God, I think everyone's going to be happy with us. Yeah, all right. Huh? Where are we going now? Hmm. Sounds like a briefing. All right, settle down. I'll try to keep this brief. As you know, I'm not one for backslapping, but this has to be said. For a rookie squadron, you've done an incredible job. Looking at the latest stats, you've got the highest kill ratio per pilot in the fleet. An incredible achievement, considering the obstacles we've had to overcome. Let's just make sure we hold on to that top spot. Hoo-ah, you can bet on that, ma'am. Yeah, well, I hope you can back that up for a change, Horrigan. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. High Command has informed me that the Coalition is withdrawing on all fronts. The enemy may be wounded, but we have to stay alert. A Coalition counteroffensive is inevitable. Now I suggest you take advantage of the break-in operations and take some well-deserved R&R. Good work, team. Dismissed. Let's go, Tigers! Two weeks ago, there were celebrations throughout the Alliance with the news that the Flying Tigers, in a daring raid, destroyed Coalition's headquarters off Jupiter, a move which, along with the forward fleet's liberation of Jupiter's moons, has finally evened the odds in this conflict. Legendary ace Klaus Steiner announced today that he would be adding his name to the Tigers' flight roster. This combination will surely strike terror into the hearts of all Coalition fighter squadrons. Now, two weeks on, the Yamato has returned to Fort Bear for repairs. Many felt that the Yamato would never make it back from what some sources believed was a suicide mission. But as this live footage shows, the Yamato has indeed returned to a well-deserved hero's welcome. This is Colonel Carl Bradwell signing off for Alliance Conflict News. <laughs> and that's the end of the game! There you go! So we've successfully gone on and just halted the Coalition enemy fleet, and that's freaking awesome. So, there you go! Um, I hope you've enjoyed this Let's Play of Star Lancer as much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you. It's been fun getting back into the flight sim world and, uh, and doing all that fun stuff. So, uh, and I know I haven't been posting as much recently. Um, one, because the game's been getting harder. <laughs> And two, because I've just been, you know, been busy doing some stuff and kind of doing, dealing with a few little personal issues that I've had to take care of. But being able to LP and, and, and do this has been very rewarding and it's kind of helped me get me out of this funk that I'm in. So, anyways, um, really, 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 uh, really enjoyed this game. It took me a little while to get going, uh, to kind of get back into the swing of things. Uh, or to kind of, uh, swing of things, to kind of get into a, a settled motion. Uh, of how to of how to play this game and uh, to to get back or to get the mechanics worked out and get all of the editing with the audio and the video worked out, but we got it all worked out, and this was a lot of fun to bring to you. And I guess that's it. So there's the ending, there's the credits, and that's Star Lancer. So again, I hope you enjoyed this LP as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. If there's anything else you'd like to see, uh, let me know. But until the next time we meet, this is BCS Buster signing off. 
Don't forget to like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter, BCS Buster LP. Check out my blog. Check out my donations page. And as always, take care, y'all. Great job. Great mission. We'll see you next time.